trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to start out looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average here. Uh, this is right from the newsletter. We were looking for a strong support to come in here at 403.22. That was a 382 retracement. We made a slightly lower low today than we did on Friday, but we did not quite make that level at 403.22. Uh, in the Dow Jones. So I'm going to go through some of these because they're very, very important. Here is the Russell. You'll notice we had that weekly high up in this area here. We had a pretty dramatic break and then it broke down today, but it's rallied back pretty good. It's still down on the day, but this is a major top up in here, folks, on this weekly basis. That's a 78% retracement. And of course, it's right now about 70 handles from that high. So that should be a major top in here. We've already covered that you know, several different times. Okay, the next one we want to take a look at here is the S&P Cash. We'll get this up here. You can see this was that big ABCD we we're looking for. We've had a big reversal here on the weekly basis, but, you know, it hasn't really done very much just like it did here. We had a little bit, and then we had an up week, and then we had the move down. So this is a completed ABCD, and we're going to find out whether it has legs or not, but that's what we're looking at. There's enough things in the news to make this thing move either direction, folks. That's for sure. And then it changes minute by minute. Okay, the next one we want to take a look at is, I think, something relatively important here. And that is the, hold on one second, if I can find a doggone thing. There it is. This is the Chinese market. I know we don't trade the Chinese market very much, but this is the weekly of the Chinese market. And as you can see, the high we made last week was right at the uh, 382 retracement. And then we had a down week with a down close. This is a very bearish chart that's been going bearish for, oh, six, seven years. Well, wait, see, 25, five years now. So that's a pretty substantial move here, whether it's going to have some support a little lower than that you'll know, we'll have to wait and see okay the next one we're going to take a look at here and that is the gold market uh, that's one that we've been waiting for uh, it to get the pretty strong support it's held that level for a little while this morning and then it's broken down below that level currently trading about five dollars under that major support last night we had a nice little ABCD pattern coming in at 2414 and from that level we dropped down about thirty dollars but that was on a half hour chart and it uh, you know looked like it was going to work right before the show came on I thought that I had seen my data come back and it was back for about 10 seconds and then it's gone again so I don't I'm not able to bring up live charts but that's neither here nor there what we're watching for here is to see if we can get a nice ABCD somewhere in here now this is a four-hour chart covering the last five days you can see the big uh, uh, ABCD pattern making new highs at uh, 2488 the high was uh, 2493 the previous high had been 2458 and now we've given back almost well we've yeah we have given back uh, a little over hundred dollars as of today because the low was uh, 2382 now the same thing with silver silver was actually weaker by a great deal compared to the gold. You can see here it's still coming down with no intermittent rally like we had in the gold market. You can see it just keeps breaking and there should be really strong support at two levels in here. First of all would be this level here at 2750. Okay, because that's going to be a 61% retracement of that move right here. And it's also going to be some support here at 2650. So these two levels are where you want to be watching the uh, the silver if it makes a bottom. Now, remember this bottom took uh, roughly six weeks 
let me see, 25, 40, 50, 50, no, four and a half weeks to get this level right here. So we should be out into August sometime if we're going to make this large ABCD. This is a, folks, this goes back to January, basically, uh, these bottoms. So six months, eight months for in the, into August. So, boy, if you get a retracement into this level right here, you really need to watch it. Watch for that. We're watching it closely on the silver, and we're watching gold. But right now, you know, the uh, bias is to the downside. And that's where it's uh, continuing to go. Okay, the next one we're going to take a look at is the – I'm jumping around here because I have questions. I'm going to do the first one is the British pound. We were looking for a sale up here in the uh, British pound. You can see it came within about 30 pips of the exact number we were looking for. That was a 1.618 expansion, and now it's starting to back off a little bit. And the first thing you want to look for is the daily chart. So we're down two days from the high. The last time we had a major correction, you came one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days down. And here we're all in the second day down. So we want to watch something to come in here. There could be some really good support here at this 128.70, folks. The reason for that is it's the old high, and it's also the 382 retracement of this move uh, coming in uh, right there. Okay? Now, I want to cover the U.S. dollar index. That's right here because that sort of turned exactly. That There's your 50% level. Your ABCD level came right in here, and we're having a little bit of a bounce today. And believe me, it's a little bounce. Not much is happening. Believe it or not, folks, the rest of the world doesn't usually care too much about what's going on in the politics of the United States of America. Eh, big surprise, right? <laughs> anyway, we follow it and we'll see what's going on. I just don't know how anybody can imagine how it's going to be during August, September, and October. We'll finally get the, the, to the election and get it over with. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's all they talk about 24 hours a day, and that's why I don't watch it because it just confuses the picture, <laughs> if there is a picture. Okay, now let's move on to one other one that we need to talk about right up in here, and that is the – where is the Treasury bonds? Here are the Treasury bonds. This is the weekly, folks. Now, you can see here we've been up here now for six weeks. So we're looking for a little bit of a pullback down in here. Now, remember, longer term, these bonds look extremely bearish. I don't know what they're going to do to pay the debt back, but they'll probably hyperinflate. There's the dailies. You can see here the big divergence here that we have. This is the Treasury bond. You can see the high we had here in June. We did not take that high out in the Treasury bond. But it was important because we did take that out with the Treasury notes. And the Treasury notes went up and made another ABCD, and now they're starting to roll over also. So this was a very big aberration. Remember, the bonds are secondary in volume and open interest compared to the notes. So this was the one that you get your car loans and mortgages and all that stuff, credit card stuff in there. So that's uh, – it started to pull back. Now, we're going to be watching it closely because these bottoms that we had were very, very symmetrical. That means if you do a, just a simple time count, you're going to get to where that high should be. So if you were just to do that, and you can see we were here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This was 20 days up. This one here was just about 20 days up. This one here was about 16 days up, so we should have a correction, at least coming down here to the, uh, to the 109 level in the Treasury bonds, or Treasury notes. Okay, let's see how we're doing with the time factor here, so make sure. Oh, we got a break coming up, so 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019. 
finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we got a question out of the Tiger Den, the Tiger chat room. Uh, this is copper, folks, on the daily chart. And the question was, is this a head and shoulders pattern? There is your left shoulder. As you can see, that was at 469. And there is your right shoulder right over here, exactly at the same price. As long as this is same price or lower, it is a head and shoulders pattern this is actually 0.25 of a penny lower than that one so it is a head and shoulders pattern that you'd like to have perfect symmetry but you don't always get that but you do have price symmetry and that's what the formula is based on right out of andrew lowe's book the technical and or non-random walk down wall street and that's what it's all about and that's how they did the form folks the formula on this head and shoulders pattern takes two pages and it looks like uh, if you ever watch that movie uh uh, goodwill hunting with those guys uh, with the, on the blackboard up there with the calculations and you know all those uh, formulas that these really smart guys use that's what it looks like and there's a tiny bit over my pay grade so I said maybe I can do it with my eyeball and that's what I try to do as you can see this is we've had we're down now 11 days here in the copper so we're due for a bounce and of course uh, you can see we were I th we were sharply lower this morning I don't know if we were still are we got to four 415 I believe down about nine cents but you can see the big target here is at the 1.618 expansion and it is a beautiful A, B, C, D coming in here at 380. That's down about a about a dollar and a half, about a dollar thirty, almost a dollar and a half from the high we made back here at uh, 515 back on the 19th of May. So that's what we're paying attention to in uh, copper. We have one other question about the uh, euro. So let me get that up here, and we will. Uh, 
Oh, dear, where is the euro? I'll tell you, folks, I've had so much trouble. Uh, can you believe I do the radio show here, and I don't even put the euro in the uh, – in the newsletter, it won't be any difference. Nobody got it because I was not able to send it out. I I just cannot send. I can't receive email at Larry at Trading Tutor, and I cannot send email at Larry and Trading Tutor. So let's take a look at the futures markets. We had some good things going on here. Uh, one of the things that we left you with here on Friday. Let's get it up here. Oh boy, now if this is going to be wrong, I am going to I'm going to shoot myself in the foot. I don't even see. Ah, here they are. There it is, right there. There was our November beans. If you remember here, we were looking to to be a buyer of November beans down here at this level, the two point. That was the ABCD. There it is right now. We've had a big move today, folks. We've got up to 1062 earlier today. I don't know where it is right now. Uh, last price I saw uh, was about 1061 and three quarters, something like that. But the fact that it's up 30 cents off the bottom is the first time we've had any good rally at all. And it is the ABCD pattern. Okay. So if we go by the theory that watch, you know, if this bottom is in, all you, just like this one here, watch for a 382 retracement, and it's most probably going to give you one. The problem is if you have a move like this and it just keeps going, you know, and you might have to wait a day or two before you get that 382 retracement. But if you get that, at least you're, you know, on the right side of the track, at least from a short-term standpoint, and it should move up a little bit higher, okay? All right, now let's, someone has a question about, oh, my goodness, hold on a second. I can't even see it. Where is it? Coco, let's get it up. I, I've never had a question about Coco on this show. You can see here, here was our big, uh, this was $100,000, a contract. I got it to 118000 Usually the high, the old high had been something at, at, at 44, folks, and it went three times. This was, a, this was a crop failure. Of course, by up here, you know, everything's in the news about the crop failure. There's, you can see the ABCD, and boom, you can see it comes down, stops at the 618, Goes up to the 618, comes down to the 618. Now we're making lower tops, but equal bottom. So the, the, the strategy is you should probably look for a little bit of a bounce here in cocoa. But I don't think we're going to see that price uh, anymore. That was probably a once in a, a generation thing because it was related to a drought in uh, Africa where most of the, well, almost all the cocoa comes from there. If I, could, I think it all, oh, and there's some comes from South America as I, as I remember. And then finally, we want to talk a little bit about crude oil. We were waiting for this, folks. We didn't quite get there. We got down to very, very close to it this morning. I don't know where the prices were, but this is the one we were, in fact, I tried to do videos. I couldn't send them out, but this would have been one of the trades that we certainly would have liked to see uh, getting down to this area at 77.27. I don't know what the low was or even if it worked or not, but that was one that we were really trying to, you know, line up, you know, absolutely perfectly to see if it was going to uh, going to work or not. All right. Now, now let's look at a couple other little things here. I've got to stretch this out because I can't do anything live. So you're going to have to bear with me here. And on this one, I happen to know uh, we were looking for a bottom here in the soybean meal. And I did get texts from a couple of people that were watching this very closely. And we had a nice move here in soybean meal. But if you missed, go just go to your 15-minute chart on December soybean meal. I, and you'll see that it had a really nice move. It got up to around 16 or 17. And then it pulled back to the 382 exactly. I think it was at uh, 314 is what I, they were showing me. And at 314, it just exploded out of there and made new highs. And it's made over five dollars a a, a a a ton right now, which is five hundred bucks. Which uh, your risk on that would have been five hundred, so your profit objective would have been made. What I'm saying here in these grains that they they have some type of a bottomy formation coming in. Friday when we talked, we were looking at corn and wheat and beans and oil and all that stuff, and it looked like the only just because the patterns were completing on corn and in meal and well not in meal but the oil has already completed but by golly it looks like it's got a chance here for some type of a, of a rally from now on until the the third the fourth week of august five weeks from now 
it is basically the ball game is in the uh, soybean court because this is where the pollination for the pods, you get usually three beans to the pod. If the crop is really bad, you only get two beans to the pod, and that's what gives you five and $10,000 moves. And, you know, soybeans really fast with those beans are not producing like they should. But usually it's three, and in a really bull market, you're only going to see two, but you're going to have to have hot, dry weather for this thing to really have legs. And believe me, when it gets hot over there, it doesn't make any much water you had. That's gone. They have to have water now, and that's what you're that's what you're paying attention to. Now, since we're talking about the grains, let's pull up here and take a look at the wheat. We had this big move up. We made new lows, and it's here also. You can see we made new lows down in here. Had a little bit of a rally. This rally is still holding. Uh, it was up today. I don't know where it is right now, but that's where we're standing. You know, right here, and I hope that. Uh, fills uh, what you're looking for in the wheat because uh, so far all this is a 382 retracement of that move from the uh, 7th of July you know down into the 15 and a little bit of a rally back but if they're all trying to make some type of a of a bottom in here and whether that's going to continue on or not you know I'm not not comfortable enough to say yeah but you know it could yes or no i'm not sure so the other ones as i can see pretty clearly this one doesn't have a really clear uh, pattern in here other than the, the higher bottoms which is substantial we did have the abcd that was that was right there there's your abcd so we got to see what's going to happen to it next so far they're holding up well but you know like we say these things can in a heartbeat just go let's take a break and we'll be right back Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
tips and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, this is the crude oil on a daily basis. You can see this is where my data has been missing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to refresh it. I I can't believe that we got it just as the show started, which is good. Let me just do just, just will be a sec there. Now we're up to date. There's that number we were looking at right there. Okay, if we look at that on the four hour that we just posted just a minute ago, we went right down to it. So far, it has a thousand dollar profit in it. Looking at this on the really short term basis, which we will be doing here, you can see here it has a little bit of a bias uh, to the upside here. So if you bought it down in here, you certainly, you know, put your stop at break even. And if we just look at this quickly here uh, on a four. Uh, this is what we usually cover in the videos, which we didn't have any videos this morning, but hopefully I can't send email yet. I, I checked that on the break, and that's that hasn't happened yet, so don't expect any videos for a while yet. That would tell us we're going to get up at least to this level uh, right here, 78.84. That would be well over $1,600, and you'd certainly want to uh, lock something in what I would do. And if you can see here, this is the low down here at uh, 55. The number we were looking at was 72. So it's uh, actually doing pretty good. So what we want to watch here is make sure it doesn't get any lower than 78. That would lock in, you know, a little bit of a profit. You wouldn't have any of a loss. So that's what we're paying close attention to. Uh, we're almost here's something very important happening right now as we speak, boys and girls. And I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but this is where we are. This is where the fat lady sings, boys and girls. This is a 13 minute chart on the S&P. We're going to switch to the hourly. And here we are on the hourly. And there's our high we're right back here. And guess where we're coming to, boys and girls? You see this little bell that's ringing right now from old pal of mine? We're taking out the highs of last Friday. Okay, and there's the 382 as we speak right there at 509. So let's see if that does mean anything. But look at that. We've been there one, two, three, four times. Maybe this is the time that it pops through because if it does, and if it does, we could easily see a move like this. A, B equals C, D, and that will take us up into this area right here. That would take you to the 78% level of this move back here. Okay, so that's what we're watching. 509. I would consider anything about 517 a 518, 10 points would be a failure of the 382 uh, on that particular one. Let's take a look at the uh, the uh, the Dow Jones is lagging badly, but it could catch up real quickly. Here's the Dow Jones. You can see the 382 and the Dow Jones is up another uh, 300 points from where we are right now. But we've we've had this type of movement today, which is really all that's doing is fulfilling this ABCD pattern that we had last night. See, there was the there's the AB, there's your CD, early morning high, you came down, back up, back up. So this is lagging badly. And on the long-term weekly, or excuse me, the long-term daily, remember, we're looking at this 382 down here at 403.52. So that's a one to pay close attention to. Should this market explode to the upside, which is certainly possible to do, uh, well, then you just have to expect that happen. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Cause I haven't seen this today, folks. I had the numbers in from yesterday, but didn't have any data well they still did that that's good there was a high we made back here a 382 on this one comes in at 201.58 and this one's even this one's even more beautiful because look what it has right here that's only another 150 points and you know being up this much there's your ab leg 
there's your CD link that would come in right there. So if this uh, if this is going to break through, it's probably going to get to here. That means the S&P is probably going to go above the 509. But right now, that's uh, that's what it looks like from the uh, seats that we have here in the uh, little Pueblo of uh, Tucson, Arizona, where we had a temperature of 107 yesterday. Going to be a balmy 106 today here in the middle of the desert. Okay, let's move over here and keep an eye on that. Well, I won't watch it very much because of the fact that it's probably going to go through there. Yeah, it's already through there a little bit, but not by much. What's been the high of the day so far has been uh, 10, been 12. And the number we were looking at was 509 on the hourly chart here. You can see it's far, it's, it's surpassing all of the, the NASDAQ hasn't taken this out yet, but it's pretty close. But anyway, that's what we're watching. This is a 382, folks. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. You see this little one right here? Let's go back and look and see if that one worked. And I'm not sure because I haven't looked at it yet. Hold on just a minute. And there we go. We're going to be doing this stuff on Friday, folks. And there's your uh, here, Mr. 382 here by two points. And then down she came. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to uh, with these. I want to bring up the uh, SPY because that is the cash index. And that is where the real money plays. That's the ETF for the cash. I'm doing this for my own edification here, folks, because I have uh, – here's where we are. Now, this is the high of the cash. Now, you can see there's our number right here. Um, there's where we were when we made our high just five days ago. Then we had this big break and this rally back. This is today's action because this is an hourly chart from your high down to your low. You've already been to the 382. One, two, three. This is the third time it's been there. It hasn't made a new high yet on the day, so it's been there one, two, three times, and it's not popped through there. So to me, that may mean something, maybe not. But if you start getting above it, you want to be careful being short because this has been a big bull market, folks. Even though it's got a lot of things it says it should go down, it doesn't necessarily have to go down unless you really pay close attention to the darn thing, okay? So anyway, those are the few of the things that we're really watching here uh, for today. Hold on one second. I want to get one other one up here. If I can, hold on. Someone's asked me a question about cattle. I have about, about zero interest in cattle. Hold on one second. The uh, yes, cattle is Q. Where is it? There it is right here. Had a bearish bias in this. Let's see how it's working. That's doing nothing today here in the cattle market. This is August cattle. Um, st sort of bearish this, but right, really there's nothing here to do yet until we can complete a nice ABCD pattern here. The, there's your high that came in. You had the break. There's your 382 pattern right there, folks. ABCD, your 382 is right there. That was worth six six handles in uh, cattle, which is 2400 bucks. Then we had a rally up. And now we're, oh, this is what we're fulfilling now. I can see it. There's your. There's your AB leg right here. I'm going to move it over here. So this, this leg is the AB leg right there. There's what I want to see. See, and now I'm going to move that up. There's what you'd like to see it to get to up about 185, up about two cents from where we are right now. And then looking at this on the shorter time frame, this would – cattle's a fun thing to trade, folks, because the hedge funds are in there, those uh, mutual funds, and they're in there swinging all the time. So 185 should be some pretty strong resistance here. Uh, in the uh, April cattle. And well, since we're talking about cattle, let's take a quick look about the little piggies and see how they're doing. And that's HEQ. That one had a relatively positive bias, if you recall. We had that. This was the trading day. There's where we had the big ABCD to the downside. That was our trading day day. And then look at this thing. There's a perfect example of the 382, folks. I mean, I don't even think you can find one here because it's been so bullish. There's no 382 right here, and there's not a 382 right here. Hold on just a second. And we'll be right with you right there, so we'll see what happens. Hey, take a break. We'll be right back. Eight to seven. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're going to take a quick look here at the soybean meal. This is one I mentioned. Uh, I've got data up now, so I'm able to show what uh, was happening here. We had the, this was the opening here on Sunday night. You can see the market rallied from 07 all the way up to $700, and then it pulled back. And what they were referring to, Miss MC over there in Clearwater, Florida, there was your 382 pullback right here. And, of course, that had a nice $700 profit in it. But let's just follow it along here using that same premise of 382. Now, remember, this is just a half-hour correction, okay? But if you follow the 382 theory, and I'm sure it'll be on the Elliott Wave watch list here someday much farther uh, along than i am right now i'll probably be up into the wherever that place i'm going when the trading ends but there's your there's your 382 then you have another pullback right in here now what would be the odds that from this one to that one but 382 so let's just try it there's your low right here and there's your high right there and your 382 comes within 50 cents of the exact low and of course it's up another four dollars from that level what's that's telling you folks is that we think very strongly that we're going to at least here 320 and now it's only a couple bucks away but that will be the abcd structure of the meal just looking at this shorter time frame and that's when you're trading shorter term that's how you define where these numbers are it gives you a rough idea of what we're looking at now let's take a quick look here at the um, hold on one second i want to get up here We'll take a look here at the, uh, this is the wheat. Now you see the wheat has been stronger, like we mentioned before. Matter, matter of fact, uh, here on Friday, we did complete an ABCD pattern here in the wheat market. There's your 
A, B, C, D leg right there, went a little bit higher, and then the market has held relatively well. And stop and think now, folks. We're gonna. This is just a 13-minute chart, but what we're gonna do now is this is we know we have higher bottoms, right? We have higher tops, so the trend is starting to change. So what you want to do is from your your big low that you had here, watch for a 382 retracement. That tree there, it went well a little below. It went to just about 50%. That is about, uh, see, that's only three cents. So it's within $150. Notice how it makes a slightly lower low here today than it did here on Sunday night. That's a good thing to happen. And now it looks like it's moving uh, it's to the upside. Not much, but that's how you get these things moving. It takes a little bit at a time, and then, boom, it takes off. This would tell you that the price objective you'd be watching for this would be a minimum of up here, at around this 590 level, okay? So, and at 590, you'd have three drive to a top pattern coming in here. So, that's it. Now, let's take a quick look at the corn. I haven't looked at corn uh, over the weekend, I did, but haven't today because I've had no data. But here's the Christmas corn. It should be strong. Oh, it's doing pretty good. Coming off. Let's try that old 382 uh, theory here. There's our, there's our low right back in here. That happened on Friday. Uh, Thursday, sorry, Thursday, and then we had the big move Sunday night. That was telling you that something big was happening, so you want to be watching for the 382. Of course, it went a little below it. I uh, went to the 50% level. The difference here is one penny, folks, so that that's like flight. Well, that's a, not much of a difference. That's telling you're going to at least another five, six cents higher here, or three, three, four cents higher in the corn, and then start watching it. That's basically, this is the first time, folks, in a long time. Look at this daily. This thing's been down forever. Now we finally got a turn coming in here. Look, we've been here for a whole week and didn't, didn't collapse. This was telling us that, hey, this selling is starting to dissipate. That's that's why you want to start looking for looking for a little buyers. You know, that's that's what we're trying to look at here. Okay, now let's take a look at the soybean oil because that's the one that we've been the most bullish on. And of course, as you can see, it's quite bullish here today. There's where we were last week. You can see we had the pullback right here. In fact, is we're making that level right now. There's your low here we had on the 10th. And here's where we came right down to the 78% level here on Friday. And then, of course, the market has been going up. And that tells us that the soybean oil is most probably headed up here just a little bit. Oh, my goodness. We're almost there right now. 45.16. That, uh, yep, that ought to be it. And there's a, this should have a correction from this level right here. Now, the same token now. So you've got, you can go back five days. Okay, watch Watch for a 382 off of this move right here. You, you, you see this one? You didn't get a 382 here. It just kept going down, down, down. So you want to watch the 382. How do you know whether it goes down or not? You put a stop in. Because if you don't put a stop in, you're telling the market, hey, I know more than you do, and that's not a good thing. That's not going to work. So anyway, that's what, what bean oil looks like. On the daily charts, bean oil, this is what I this was my fondest dream that we would get down here but with the action we stopped right here at the 78 percent level these last couple of days you can see the action for today and that's just nothing more than this little rally right here so nothing's really changed yet the fact that we did get to the 78 percent level here on uh, thursday and friday of last week you can see there's where we were thursday and friday of last week and we held that that's a, probably a good sign but still early in the game we're going to find out, but we'll be watching closely. Hopefully our videos will be working, and we'll be able to see if that stuff is going to be uh, moving around okay. So let me get these lined up in here. Oh, far, I haven't forgotten, folks. Mr. Appel's right on the well. Just a second, and we'll be able to – there's our Apple chart. I'm going to put up an hourly. No idea what it's doing. Uh, okay, here's Apple for today. We've had a big break. Oh, dear. This was a really beauty today, folks. I don't know if this means anything, but, boy, this is mother, God, and country right here. A, B, C, D. And if that's a 382, I wouldn't want to be long apple. There's your X, A, B, C, D. And there's your three. Oh, dear. Holy moly. It's already down $3 from the high. Boy, that would been a nice one for a Friday trade. And we'll be here Friday trading live, folks. And there it is right there. Within, uh, f wow, within 22 cents of the exact 382, folks, 27.97, uh, the high was 27.77. And, of course, we always put our 
orders to sell one tick below the high of the day or one tick above the low of the day. And if you believe that, there's still two shares of the Brooklyn Ridge waiting for you to consume and give to your grandchildren because it'll be worth the same. Actually, the shares of the Brooklyn Bridge are considerably valuable, folks, because they've been bankrupt for so long. There's not many of them around, and there's a rarity. So if you can find them, it's probably worth a couple hundred bucks. But uh, they're, they're, those old stock certificates are they're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, Tesla's the next one. Hold on a second here. Mr. Musk is in the news all, all the time now because of his giving money to the uh, – the blue team, no, the red team. Hold on a second here. This is a Tesla. Let's see if it's up or down. That's really doing nothing today. It's up, actually gapped up, doing okay, as a matter of fact. And it's in a, uh, we had a, um, well, on a short term time basis, we had a nice ABCD pattern here on Friday. You can see there's your AB equals CD leg. There it was on Friday. And of course, uh, it gapped up, so if you bought it there at 36, it's at 51, acting pretty good. But we have a minor because this is an hourly chart. Now we have a one, three, five here. There's one, three, and five, so the trend is moving to the downside. We have lower tops in here, so be be careful of Tesla. Okay, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Treasury notes. I focused on this a little while ago where we made new highs here. Remember, the bonds did not take out these highs on the daily or weekly. We did in the notes. The notes have six times the open interest of the bonds and volume to match. So you had to watch that. But if you'll notice, we did make the ABCD pattern here. Went right up to where it should have stopped. Hold on. There's your ABCD. Went right to the old tick. The high was 115, and there it was at 15, and now we're down. You notice on the rally up here, we had the last couple of days, this little two-day rally. We just couldn't even make a 382 retracement. Uh, the reason why I'm showing you this, folks, of all the outlier events that are out there, the bonds is probably number one or two because we've been borrowing money for trillions and trillions of dollars, and how we're going to pay it back is only one of two ways. We either default on it, or hyperinflated. So one of the twos is going to happen, but we'll have to wait and see. Right now, long-term trend is still down. The short-term trend is still up a little bit, but uh, it's still weak. So pay close attention to that. Okay, I guess this week on Wednesday, we're going to have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. On Thursday, we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. And, uh, excuse me, yeah, Mike Moore is going to be on Wednesday and Jeff Huge on Thursday and Friday. Of course, we're going to do the live trading session, which will be our 11th one over the past uh, four years. We're going to have a lot of fun and uh, hopefully make a couple of bucks and may maybe even more than a couple of bucks. So, anyway, that's what we're watching. So, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and make sure that you uh, say a prayer for my good friend, old Triple L. He's uh, fell and broke his hip and. Time is limited, I'm afraid, so say a little prayer for him, and may God bless, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, and uh, stay safe out there, folks. It's a jungle.